Today in this lecture, we will learn to find the particular integral which is shorter method. In the last lecture, that means lecture number 3, we already introduced the concept to find the particular integral. It's the general case and when uh, the right hand side is some particular function, in that case, we are not use the general case, we use the shortcut technique to find the uh, particular integral of a linear differential equation. So, we start the case 1, the first case. The first case is this, if we observe in that form, the given linear differential equation is if dy equals to fx where y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable and fd represents the function of capital D where d stands for ddx. Then uh, to find the pi, the concept is 1 by fd fx. The case 1, if the right hand side is a function of e to the power mx, is a function of e to the power mx. In that case, you are not use the general norms, you just use these norms to find the pi 1 by fd to the power mx that should be d should replace by m and just to put in place of d is m and the result becomes the, the corresponding result of the particular integral becomes 1 by fm e to the power mx provided it's a very important concept is that fm equal fm not equals to 0 the second question arise in your mind is that if fm equals to 0, exactly for that reason, here we mention uh, when fm equals to 0. If fm equals to 0, in that case, here we put x in the numerator and take the differentiation of fd with respect to d, it's become f dash d and now we input, uh, now we replace d by m, that is f dash m. Provided it's also provided if m f dash m should not be equals to zero. If f dash m equals to zero, then we again use the another continuation of this that should be x square. That should be x square if double dash m. That means you have to differentiate if d two times with respect to d, then we put uh, d uh, then we replace d by m we got the required particular integral okay so uh, how can i use this so for that reason we use an example to clear your idea okay it's your first example okay d square minus 1y e to the power 2x uh, in that case, you have to find first the complementary function, then you uh, find the particular integral. So, you have already learned that y equals to e to the power mx, so you just consider e to the power mx be the trial solution. In that case, auxiliary equation can be found by, can be found by, d is replaced by m, here we consider this one m square so d square is uh, this square should be m square and one should be minus or nothing more that is equals to zero that should be equals to zero and m equals to plus minus one which represent that the root of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct for that reason we have already learned that we can write the complementary function is a arbitrary constant with e to the power x plus b e to the power bx or e to the power m 2 x here m a is 1 m 1 is 1 and m 2 is minus 1 exactly for that reason here we write the complementary function is this okay next uh, lesson should be find the particular integral for that so I here we use the procedure d square minus of 1 here if d is here if d is nothing but d square minus of 1 exactly if d is if d that is equals to that is equals to d square d square minus of 1 okay so 
1 by FD that has side is e to the power 2x the positive says that you just replace d by a here a is only 2 so here we replace d by 2 that is d square replaced by 2 square so the result becomes 1 by 2 square minus of 1 that is 3 e to the power 2x by 3 that should be your particular integral and the general solution you can write the general solution with ca plus bi that is yc it represent the complementary function yp represent the particular integral here the complementary function is a to the power x plus b to the power minus x so here we write the complementary function and the particular integral is e to the power 2x by 3 so exactly for that reason here we write e to the power 2x by 3 okay next we move to the uh, next example for your better understanding that is your second example okay uh, according to the statement it is given that if if uh, m is zero what should happen for this reason we take an another example d square minus 3d plus 2y equals to e to the power 2x here the auxiliary equation uh, we can find the auxiliary equation uh, just replacing d by m the auxiliary equation becomes m square that should be minus 3m okay that should be minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0 after factorize we get the value of m is 1 and 2 they are the real and distinct root so we use the norms for real and distinct root to find the complementary function is a e to the power m1 x plus b to the power m2 x for that reason here m1 is 1 m2 is 2 here we write a e to the power x plus b e to the power 2 x now we find the pi so this one is your fd so here we write in the denominator uh, portion is fd d square minus 3d plus 2 and the right hand side function is e to the power 2 x so if we put d equals to 2 the result becomes 2 square so the result becomes 2 square minus 3 into 2 3 into 2 3 into 2 plus of 2 so this becomes 0 exactly this becomes 0 since this becomes 0 so you cannot replace d by a for that reason we have used the norms x is out from the operator and just we make the differentiation of fd with respect to d that is your fd so when you differentiate d square minus 3d plus 2 with respect to d it's a d square becomes 2d and minus 3d becomes only 3 if we replace d by 2 now we replace d by 2 it's become 4 minus of 3 and this one is your particular integral okay this one is your particular integral so exactly for that reason here we write the complementary function plus particular integral here is your complementary function here it's your particular integral where a and b are arbitrary constant so that is the another example to evaluate the particular integral when the right hand side is a function of e to the power x so we move to the next model or the next rule to find the particular integral shorter rule to find this one is the another rule to find the particular integral of a given linear differential equation it says that if we write if dy equals to say if dy similar pattern the if dy if dy equals to some function of x if it is happen that the function of x is a trigonometric function only for sine or cos okay only for sine and cos exactly for that reason here we use the function is either sin x or cos x or sin x plus b cos x plus b in that case if we can write if d equals to phi d square in that case the norm says if we replace by d square by minus a square we got the particular integral provided uh, phi minus a square should not be equals to zero the question arise in your mind is that if uh, the result becomes zero the procedure should be same you can use this one the procedure will become same just to exclude x 
from the operator and next we take the differentiation with respect to d next we put d square by minus s square exactly for that reason here we use an example to clear your idea of this rule here it's uh, here we are not mentioning solve the differential equation here we just use uh, to here we can use uh, to find the particular integral because the complementary function you can find that should be your homework so for this problem how can i find the particular integral that's very important for us for this particular uh, lesson d square plus 1 y equals to sine 2x that means if d is d square plus 1 exactly for that reason here we replace 1 by d square plus 1 and this one is sine 2x that means a becomes a becomes this one is your a a becomes 2 according to the norms it says that you just replace d square by minus a square it's very important it's not uh, minus a the whole square it's minus a square exactly for that reason here we replace uh, minus 2 square okay so the ultimate pi becomes this sometimes it may be happen that for this example uh, the rule is the continuation of the rule sometimes it may be happen that uh, the result becomes zero the result becomes zero for that that's why you can recognize or realize the using this problem this one uh, so the fd becomes this how can i find this particular integration fd becomes uh, d square plus of 9 so when we find the pi this becomes 1 by d square plus 9 cos 3x you can easily recognize if we replace d square by minus 3 square d square by d square by minus 3 square d square by minus 3 square in that case d square by minus this square this denominator becomes 0 if the denominator becomes 0 you cannot apply this rule in that case uh, here we use uh, just a uh, take x outside from the operator and differentiate uh, the denominator with respect to d d square becomes 2d and this one becomes cos 3x when we integrate cos 3x with respect to x the integration of cos 3x is sine 3x by 3 exactly for that reason here we write the particular integral okay that's all for uh, uh, these two cases and in the next class we will learn the another few uh, shortcut method to find the pi of a given differential equation wait for the next lecture